Hey, Craig Gordon here with the Forest Service Utah Avalanche Center. Sunday, November 24th, up at Wolf Creek Pass today. Welcome back. I've missed you. In our absence, of course, winter happened. As a matter of fact, it started snowing in the high country in mid-October, and a series of small storms have been the building blocks for our current snowpack. A couple things strike me rolling into this zone. First is the overall lack of snow, 12 to 18 inches total snow on north facing slopes. Other half of the compass, south faces, have hardly any snow. As I'm looking at my north facing snow, the first thing that really stands out is this weak surface snow. Check out this surface hoar. I mean, it is really beautiful, but it's going to be a problem once we start stacking storms on top of that. More problematic, though, is as I dive into my snowpack and it hardly even takes a shovel, I can pull out this heat crust right here. That's going to help to connect slopes, and that's also going to take a fair amount of weight before it fails. But more disconcerting is this stuff underneath here. This is the junk in the trunk. This is the weak, sugary snow that makes the Uintas so famous, but also makes it a really dangerous range. We've got a series of storms coming in this week. The avalanche danger is going to ramp up, particularly on these slopes that have pre-existing snow. So, as snow stacks up, as the wind blows, my suggestion is, number one, be informed with the latest avalanche information. Get your forecast at utahavalanchecenter.org. And then we can navigate safely in our mountains by simply avoiding slopes with pre-existing snow. That's going to be the south half of the compass. Look forward to seeing you out on the snow the next couple of days.